Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to see a small example on how to use PayPal checkout in your Blazor Web Assembly applications. Now before we continue, please remember to subscribe to the channel, share the videos and like them. Also invite more people to subscribe to the channel so we can keep making more training videos for you. Okay, so many times in your applications you may need your users to pay for certain functionality, right? There are also some systems in which you may want your users to add funds to a wallet, right? So, if you have been following our channel, you know we are developing this portal Fair Play Tube, which is the next generation of video sharing portals. It is made on Blazor WebAssembly with .NET 5. In this, we will have this section, My Fonts, right? And you see that in here we have the PayPal checkout, PayPal checkout configured, right? Now, if we click the PayPal button, we get the pop-up so we can input our sandbox user credentials. Right? And once we do that, it will um, it will show us how we want to do the test payment, right? This all these all are the sandbox default um, payment sources, let's say, right? And you see that after it has been successfully, we get this message, right? So how does that work when you configure your um, paypal checkout in in your paypal account you will be given some html code representing your checkout experience right so you will be given <coughs> a deep section that will have basically the container right and the options that you will have to select like the amount right then you will be given a script two scripts actually you will be given the platform script let's say right uh, with your client ID right this is the ID for the sandbox and that will be un unique for your um, for your configuration, right? So you will need to replace it with your own, and you will be given the script function that basically represents. It's the function that prepares the buttons. Basically, uh, converts these. Well, no, it it basically uh, <coughs> generate the the buttons, right? And it has the create order, right? And then it has the unapproved callback that it's going to be returned when your payment has been approved, right? And here you will uh, do whatever you need to do in your um, main application, right? And the details in here, you will have all of the details. So Basically, what you will need to do is create a component like this, right? It's a PayPal checkout component. It's under the custom components, PayPal, right? You import the IJS runtime, you inject it. You set your given HTML, right? And on the on after render async, you ask if it is the first render, then invoke the function, right? And that's, that's it, it will, um, uh, also do the state has changed just to guarantee that everything uh, is uh, maintains the state uh, I'm not totally sure if you need to do this but I think you do uh, I can test it later uh, <coughs> yes you have this init PayPal button and that will um, start configuring your PayPal 
button configuration and then you will be able to click on the buttons and continue with your experience so that's the way in which you can implement paypal checkout in blazor web assembly applications and now one of the advantages that it has is that it does not work with base redirections it works with javascript calls so you don't have to be handle uh, redirect requests in your application for this flow this is a flow that happens in an external pop-up right because it launches your uh, paypal pop-up to uh, so you, so you uh, set the payment right and then it just uh, continue to your application invoking the javascript function and then you can continue in there uh, doing whatever you just want to do um, customizing the own approve function in javascript right you can if you want invoke blazor back in here right uh, but yeah uh, that's a, you will do it in booking um, blaze or, or C sharp code from JavaScript, right? That we have already seen in previous videos. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it for now. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe to the channel and share the videos and invite more people so we can get more subscribers and keep making more training videos for you. Have a great day.